Hey, welcome back to LS Tech. It's your boy Lucky, and today we're gonna check out this power bank from iPuzzable. This one reaches for $25. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, let's begin with the video. So this is a 26,800 milliamp power bank with two USB outputs, and we do have a LED screen. But yeah. This one is from iPuzzable. iPuzzable. It reaches for $25. As I said, I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, let's open this up. We have this peel here. Like that. Let's take this out. Nothing else. So inside we've got a charging cable so this is your standard A to micro B no type C which is sad and it's 2020 I'm not gonna say anything just gonna carry on so inside we've got a user manual here so if you don't know how to use a power bank I don't know what to say but yeah you can read through that I'm not gonna do that so let's Pull this out and look at the power bank. So this is the power bank itself. As you can see, we have got above two USB A ports out, and we have a micro B for in. So let's peel this. Oops! So that's off there. Let's just press the power button in there, and I can see I've got nineteen percent juice left, which is nice. You know, nothing much. So we just have a power button there, nothing much. At the bottom, we've got all the specs details, so the power bank, the voltage is out and everything. So that's nice. And this only goes at, at 5 volt out. So it's not some quick charging any super power bank like that. It's just your standard decent power bank here. Yeah, fits, fits nice and hefty. So here I've got a 20,000 milliamp Chotec power bank. This is currently one of my favorite because it has USB-C as A, but this one is Qualcomm, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, which is really nice. But this one, as you can see, is a bit thicker, longer, but this one is a bit thicker. But this is 26,800, while this is only 20,000. And this one does not have a, a LED screen, which I don't like because I don't like these buttons because it doesn't tell me if it's they're saying it's 25%, but where well, this one is saying it's 19. But this could be 10% or 1%, and it's still gonna tell me it's 25, which I don't like. But with this one, I can get their exactly percentage, which is nice. But yeah, let's see if this works. So I've got a lightning cable here. This is a black iPhone lightning cable. If you picked up any of the new iMacs, in space gray you will get these bundled in which is really nice but yeah that is charging as you can see connected in it's charging which is good and the charging is going out there so let's try the other part as well make sure that's turned off like that in oops i have to unlock it to make this work let's try again Okay, that's working so it's a bit weird it wouldn't but now it's locked anyway and it's charging let's just try that again works fine let's try the other port mm, works fine so you can see that works fine so the power bank as i said it's nothing heavy like compared to my phone here as you can see that's maybe twice the size of my phone in thickness otherwise it's nearly the same size but as i said it doesn't have any quick charge, any fast charging. It's standard five volts, which is a bit sad, but at $25, you are getting that 26,000 milliamp battery, which is really nice. Well, this one is only 20,000, but this one reaches for double the price, around $40. So yeah, you are paying extra for that quick charge, but you're getting less juice. And this one, you're getting your 26,000 milliamp, but you're not getting any fast charging. So if you're okay with charging your phone like slowly, you should be fine. But if you want some quick juice, you really can't be looking at this. Like it was on sale, so I picked it up and 
Like, yes, I'm happy it has an LCD screen to show you the percentages, but no quick charge, no USB-C, and that just lets me down. So if you're looking for this power bank, I will not recommend it. Like, I'm not happy with it. All right, you spend a bit more on getting something better, maybe like this Chotec or some any other power banks. I'll leave something in the description if you want to check it out. But yeah, for the price, it's a bit down. It let, it let me down. Like, at least USB-C would have been nice. But yeah, I picked it up. Looked fine on page, even though it did say it was micro B. But yeah, for the price, it's decent. As I said, if you're looking for a cheap power bank and you're not worried about the fast charging, anything like that, this will do your job. But Romanken getting something better. I'll leave a link for this show tag in the description. This is what I'm currently using now and it's currently one of my favorite. I love it and it's really useful. But yeah, as always, I'll leave a link in the description to all of the links are featured in the video. But as always, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next one.